Hello there, Paul Tranny here, and I'm gonna dive into color now, mastering color in Illustrator, okay? Uh, first off, we get to kind of take a look at this file. Um, I have my colors right here. I'll open this up, and we'll just uh, keep an eye on it. Uh, and we also have this swatches panel. So actually, when I select any one of these colors, notice that they're actually global colors. What a global color is, is it once I change it, in my swatches panel, it'll change it everywhere. I know it's a global color because that's that little notch taken out of it. So if I decide to make this a different color, let's make it more drastic like green, preview it, it changes it everywhere. See, you can see it changes it, right? So that's what you want to do is you want to use global colors. All you need to do is just check global, it's checked by default, and then you can move on. From there, when it comes to locating colors, select the same fill color, right? We could see it change like I was doing before, or select the same fill color, and that's what it's doing now, selecting the same fill color, and you could see all those change. So that's kind of locating color, kind of the fundamentals. I wanna get into something more tricky, because what if you want to uh, take all these colors and uh, honestly, you wanna know how many colors are here. H how many do you think are here? How many colors did I use? Like we could try to count them, but check this out. If you go to edit, edit colors into a recolor artwork, we can see that I actually used 43 right there, 43 different colors in this design, okay? Which is a lot, let's be honest. Look at how many like reds and oranges, they're very similar, right? What if we wanna condense that down? What if we wanted to make this like a five color print job or something like that? We can do that right over here. Auto, thank you very much. Changing this to five, boom, changed it to five colors. Yes, I get it, it's gonna change the color of it, right? We went from 43 to five, it's gonna change it. Um, look what it did, it changed a lot of these blues to the greens, well, Again, we can adjust this all we want. We can take these greens and say, hey, you know what? All these greens, make them uh, that yellow, right? And by the way, it's not only doing yellow, it is doing scale, it's, it's doing different tints of that color as well, okay? So that's what's happening. Um, so you could group these any way you want, just click and drag them. You wanna locate these colors, check this out. That's this little button right here. Where are those colors? Click, oh, those are all the, the greens that I just changed to yellow. That's where they all are, right? So just click right there. Those were my former colors. That's where they're at now. And then we can also go into edit. A lot of people are familiar with this one because it's super fun, right? We can lock this down. We can rotate this any way we want. We can see it change color, right? Dial it in, get the color we want, uh, unlock it. Maybe you don't want this brown. I'm not crazy about the brown either. We'd wanna change that, amp it up, and uh, try to get something a little bit more interesting is what I'm doing right now. Work with me here. Crank this up a little bit more. Ah, let's go more of a purple is what we need. We'll do something like that. So there's our four colors or our, excuse me, our five colors, it's all squared away. We can get this to look any way we want, click okay, and guess what? It's one undo from being back the way it was, all right? Uh, but that's how you pare down color, you locate colors, paring down colors, uh, and then changing those colors on like a, like a global level, depending that you, provided I had them all selected, right? Let's move on, let's talk about gradients as well. We can add gradients all day long, you get it. Radial gradient, let me open up this panel. Gradients, radial, here we have my linear gradient. And typically, honestly, you don't even need that. I can just grab this and kind of move this around and make, do this, work with this any way we want. Uh, we could work either on the object, right, zoop, or using this bar, kind of up to you. But I want to get into something new, which is our third option, our freeform gradient. It's right over here in the gradient panel, right? And from here, I'll click on that. Right? I'm not touching anything. It will pick four colors in this case. I don't know how it comes up with these colors. I honestly don't know. I'm sure there's some crazy algorithm, but this is so much more interesting than these other two. In fact, I'm gonna get rid of those other two. Let's just do with, deal with this one, stretching it all the way out, right? 
and let's work with this gradient. So we'll edit this gradient. We have these different points. I'm gonna make just a nice scene. It's gonna be like a background. We have this toucan and you know this sort of scene. So I might wanna change this to uh, blue or more like a teal. Maybe this one is gonna be more blue. Uh, but what's cool about this, if I say, for instance, throw some red down here, look at the different colors we get. Even as I start to move this around, I start to get this purple right here. This is making new its new colors that just wasn't possible before. So this is super fun. As I bring that down, maybe I'll change this to yellow, to be honest with you, make it part of this scene. Uh, and you can actually control the intensity of the color as well. Okay, but we could do more than that, because for this toucan, I'm thinking, okay, he's not looking too, too bright or sunny, you know? Say, for instance, his, uh, his beak, we want to do the same thing. Let's add some nice freeform gradients. Let's make it yellow there. Right here, we will make it orange if we want to. This is going to be red down here on the end. And not only that, we can change this to lines. So I can click right in here and let's just change this to green. Clicking right here, still set to lines. Click, click, click. Just having that bottom edge, um, making it a line. So I'm gonna edit this gradient. I'm gonna add another line right up here. We'll just keep that as white as the highlight. I could drop that in. Uh, like that. So again, you have a lot of control when it comes to adding points and adding lines to make what you want when it comes to uh, the new freeform gradient tool. That's one that I already have made. You can see just a very lush bird that uh, is super cool. So that's what you could do. Freeform gradient tool, super awesome. You're using solid colors, you're using gradients in all these different ways, making new new color combos. Let's kind of put it all together, shall we? Um, let's kind of go over here to these sneaks, for instance. Let's put it all together. One situation I want to point out, this is pro tips. Uh, this situation, John Mulaney is going to be at max. This is an issue I have, especially with these fonts, like running into each other. I want this to be a continuous gold, right? How would a lot of people do that? They would outline it and then group it and do all these things. You don't need to do that. All you need to do is use the appearance panel right over here. For the appearance panel, we'll just add a new fill. It's gonna be on top of the gradient. In fact, let's make it a nice gradient. Uh, on top of the current stroke and fill. And that's what's happening here. It's adding that current that one on top of it. I could even add a new stroke if I want to. That's gonna be on top of the current one as well. I can make this maybe, you know, three sizes, four, four sizes, four point basically. The reason that it's overriding that fill is because it's higher up in the list. We'll move that down, you get exactly what you expect. So at this point, I can have some fun with this. I can make this thicker. I can add a new stroke if I want to. Maybe make this one smaller. This one will be a uh, nice pink, right? And we just get that nice lighting for this text because we're making it fun, right? This is all bringing it together. Gradients, solid colors, combining them using the appearance panel. And then from there, since I like this so much, I can make this a graphic style. Click, added it as a graphic style right here. Uh, and as you can see, I have a lot of fun graphic styles in here already preloaded. We wanna make this exciting. We'll go graphic style five. Bam, there we have it. If we take a look at the appearance panel, look, strokes, all these different strokes, as well as there's offset path in here and effect applied to the stroke as well. So I'll turn that off. That doesn't show a whole lot. Turn this one off. Yeah, there we go. This one has the feathering, so it's blurring out, but that actually gives it those little highlights right there. So that's what's happening. We'll add it to this one right here. Graphic styles, let's make it the second one. And now we have a lot of bling going on and this text is still editable, right? So we can go in and change this if we want to, uh, as you'd expect, right? 
super cool uh, adding that in just like that i didn't have to outline my text or anything like that but hopefully that gives you a clear idea what you could do with color in illustrator and then also applying that color so thanks for watching